What's going on YouTube? Day back again and it's Warhammer Wednesday. Today we're taking a look at a figure from Forge World and this is from the Horus Heresy and this is going to be Angron or otherwise known as Angry Ron. So while I was off and uh, sitting on the couch I really 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 got into uh, working on minis and stuff. It was something that I could clean up and work on while sitting on the couch and even do some painting on and I started trolling eBay because up until I want to say about a month ago uh, all the Forge World orders that came from the UK and the shipping on it and the time frame it just took forever now you can end up ordering them here in the States though the price is jacked up somewhat significantly which I think is quite sad but if you do your research and hunt properly you can find some really great deals on eBay um, this guy I ended up getting I want to say for 45 or 50 dollars uh, he was partially cleaned up and uh, I don't think anything was glued together. I'll show you guys how if you end up buying one that's glued together, most of the time people use super glue and I'll show you how to easily break that apart while putting it in the freezer. But yeah, I think compared to the, I think he is uh, $75, $100 on Forge World, getting him for $45 was a, a great deal. Now these come in this nice textured, it's almost a cloth texture cardboard box uh, with a nice Horus Heresy on there. On the back side, you get the sticker that comes from Forge World, the barcode. Taking the lid off the box, you get basically like a blister card insert and I think it's kind of sad that a lot of these they don't include instructions so you just kind of have to guess how things go together and how it goes together. You would think for the cost of money that they charge for these that they'd put some kind of instructions in here. Now of course I have already built this, cleaned this and even magnetized it so it's not in here how it was when it got to me but there is foam that ends up going in here. And uh, I'm just showing you generally what it can look like once it's all cleaned up and once you modify it with some magnets. And I wanted to show you guys before I prime it and start painting it. All right, so I had to turn down the brightness in here so everything didn't get blown out. But this is the base and as you can see, there's a space marine down here. Now the way that they designed these, let me see if I can get this out of here, is you have this circle and then you have this base that you can put Ingron on and play them in your army. Though most people that I know end up you know just painting these up to the best they can and then displaying them so what i'm going to end up doing is once i end up getting everything all settled this is just going to end up getting glued into place and then any little gaps filled in but i think the rubble and everything looks excellent you can see some girder here he's all tore up his chest is all jacked up and you'll see why there's a hole in his chest right here I do need to do some cleanup around the neck because I did some modifications on how that was originally. More of his head just kind of popping off. So here is one of the other Marines that he has gone after. So as you can see, I've got a magnet in his foot. So the way I've got this set up is the magnet over here is polarized one way and the magnet over here is polarized the other. That way there's no confusion on which of these guys goes where. But he's going to go on there like that. The other Marine right here, I need to fill in that hole from drilling through there. Um, I did end up putting a magnet on his backpack right there, mainly so I can paint his suit all nice and even and then put that on. It's just what I end up doing. He's going to go right there like that. Right here we have Engron. Almost kind of wish his head was separate um, just for painting, but this one's going to be easier than the other one that I'll be showing you guys. I've got his arms all magnetized. You can see that. We've got a magnet in his foot right here. That's going to go right in this guy's chest. Boop. Just like that. And then on his cape, if you look, um, it's kind of hard to tell. It'll be easier to tell once I get some primer on here and some paint. Um, but it almost looks feathery, hairy with all these chains hanging off of it. This goes onto his back just like that. So here we are having him charge through a group of Marines and this guy, one of the reasons I wanted to magnetize him was I wasn't sure that this was exactly how I wanted to place him or if I wanted to place him like this so that his arm was just recently chopped off while he was swinging this up. We're going to have some uh, strings of goo and stuff coming from the guts of this Marine, but I need to clean up this base and everything. I really, really like this. Uh, I think that I'm going to end up painting a lot of non-metallic metal on here 
and just doing the best job that I can and maybe putting this in the showcase here of local competition next year. So here's a base I ended up getting from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, you can get these from Michael's as well. And then I just did a cherry wood stain on here. Just uh, a single layer. I may put another one, just sand it down, put another layer on here. But I thought that this would make a good base for this guy to go on. I think that will look great just like that. And that's it, guys. Something short, something simple for this first Warhammer Wednesday. Definitely stick around. I have more coming up. A lot of night haunts and other things. And, of course, paints and so on and so forth. Definitely check out my last video, which was the contest for this week for the giveaway. That will be going on until Sunday at midnight, so you don't want to miss out on that. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. And I will see you guys all in the next video. And until next time, Angry Ron says, peace out, YouTube.